Hi, welcome to Reels product review. I review anything from home, fashion, fitness, and beauty. And today we are in the beauty category. And I create these videos because I love to discover new products with you. Uh, let you know things I like, things I don't like. Um, hopefully you get to discover new things and uh, this way you're not spending money on products that maybe don't work or you're spending money on things that are wonderful and awesome. And today we are doing another product from e.l.f. and it is the In The T-Zone Bubble Mask. And I've never used this product so this is a brand new one for me. Um, I picked it out because I wanted to try something different. I do have blackhead issues and large pores, and I heard that this is supposed to help that. Um, so let's read it. It has no parabens, no sulfates, no, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, flatlates. So it's P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. Uh, that's quite a word. Um, and so basically it says, live up your skincare routine with this pore refining bubble mask. Um, this K-Beauty inspired formula applied like a gel then fizzes into thousands of tiny bubbles that gently wash away dirt and help refine the pores. The result is radiant, smooth skin and clearer pores. Okay, so we're supposed to dispense one pump of the product at a time, spread it onto enlarged T-zone areas, allow the mask to sit for 5 to 10 minutes until the bubbles begin to flatten. Massage the face with bubbles uh, fingertips. Wash with warm water to remove, pat dry, and they say recommend usage is one to three times a week. And so e.l.f. I love it because it's vegan, animal-ty, cruelty-free, um, and so I really love that about this product, um, their products or their brand. It is also pretty affordable, and their products work pretty well generally. I can't say that about this one yet because I haven't tried it. So let's open it up and find out. So it is a pumper style um, and I guess I should put some water on my face. Okay we got some water on my face so hopefully that will help it. Okay so it is a gel and it says to put it on the t-zone area and it's gonna foam up. So that was one pump, and I do see a little filming. Not crazy, like I was thinking, like dish soap, like or bubble bath, like a whole pile of soap all over my face, and that's probably a good thing that it's not like that because that might get in your eyes. Um, but it does say to keep massaging it in. It doesn't irritate. It's kind of smooth going on, I think, because of the gel, so it kind of has that like slippery, slip and slide uh, feel on my face. Okay, and we'll put one more pump on there. I'm just going to do my whole face. It's a T-zone, which would kind of be this area, but I'm going to do my whole face. Why not? Okay, so that's what it looks like with the product on. It's not as bubbly as I was expecting. So when it says it bubbles mask, I was expecting a whole lot more bubbles, but I don't see the bubbles. Okay, let's wash this off and see what happens. Okay, so I just got stuff in my eye and it stings, so don't get stuff in your eye. Soap and eye, not a good thing. Oh, that really hurts. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Well, that is kind of painful. Okay, besides that boo boo with the soap in the eye, um, my skin feels a little sticky, so maybe I didn't wash it off properly because I was stinging in my eye. But I don't really, obviously, it's one application. I'm not sure if you see any difference. Not yet. Um, 
I'm not quite sure how I feel about this product. Obviously, I just had a bad experience <laughs> getting it in there. So I would have to give it another experience or shot at it. But first time use, I don't see anything. But, you know, maybe we got to use it a little bit more. Ah, it says apply for 5 to 10 minutes until bubbles begin to flatten. Well, bubbles never started, so I don't know how they're going to flatten. Um, and it says also to use one to three times a week, so usually love elf, but this one's a no-go for me. Um, you may have a different feelings or thoughts on it, and if you use this product a little differently, if you're a go-to elf in the bubble, in the T-Zone bubble mask user, let me know if you do it somewhat differently. Your thoughts, feelings, and feedbacks, always love to hear from you guys. So thanks again for watching my channel. Um, this one was kind of a disaster, but we can't like, you know, hit a home run every time, I guess. So have a wonderful, fabulous day. And if you aren't part of my community, please hit that subscribe button below. Love to have you. Thanks.